So in this video today, we will talk about the importance of route summarization and how that is going to help in stabilizing your network, your IGP network, especially when it is a large scale network. Uh, this may not be very uh, effective or a use case for small networks, but typically you would use OSPF areas in networks that are large, and that's where you would use multiple areas uh, if, if the network is large. That's a typical use case for OSPF areas. So in this case, you know, um, if you have a small network, obviously you don't need that much uh, area designing and OSPF summarization, but uh, because you have you don't have too many routes uh, to worry about. But in a typical very large or large enterprise networks, you would carefully design your OSPF network, and uh, that's that's really what the purpose of OSPF areas are: is to make sure that you have control over your network. Uh, stabilization and, and, and summarization. And we'll specifically talk, talk about uh, how does OSPF summarization help. So I'm going to illustrate that in this video. In my setup here, we got four routers configured with OSPF. Area 12 is between air, router 1 and 2. They have loopbacks uh, 10, 1, 1, 1 slash 32 and uh, this guy has actually it's got loop back in area 0 20 1 1 1 slash 32 and then router 3 has a loop back 30 1 1 one slash 32 and router four has a loop back which we will play with to demonstrate this and it's also got a dummy interface with this address so 4111 on the loop back and 4222 on its dummy interface which is another logical the only difference between loop back and dummy is that you can't disable this guy but you can always disable the dummy interface. So I'm using dummy interface to enable disable this so that we can create a route flap, which will see how the OSPF or SPF calculations on this router gets affected. Shortest path first calculation, the OSPF algorithm, uh, the process is getting affected by the route flap this route flap right here. So we're going to enable, disable this guy multiple times to see how S SPF gets in, you know, affected here. And then once we put in the summarization on the area border router, area border router is basically two or more areas connected to a, you know, area border router will always be connected to area zero and other areas, in this case, area 34. So when we put in the summarization, that's that's the only place that OSPF can summarize is the ABR. When we put the summarization with this command here for area 34 and then start flapping this interface, you will see that SPF does not, you know, run again and again. It becomes stable. So that is what we will illustrate here that the use case for summarization, uh, obviously, number one use case is stabilize. And two is to reduce the routing table. Reduce the routing table. So we will see how the routing table here on this router would look like before the summarization and then after the summarization okay so let me you know get rid of this 
and bring in the routers. So I'm going to bring in router one to show you the route table first. So here's my router one. Here's all my routes. 10.1.1 is the local loopback. 20.1.1 is the loopback on router 2, 30, 111, 40, 111, and 42.2.2 are these. They're coming in through 12.02, and these are all neighbors. So I'm not going to bring in uh, router 2 in here. I'm just going to bring in router 1, BIOS 1 here, and I'm going to bring in the ABR, where we're going to do the summarization. And then I'm going to bring in the router 4, where this guy is got, this is router four right here. He's got loopback zero and dummy interface uh, zero with these addresses. So I'm gonna flap this before the summarization and then after the summarization. So before we do that, so we got the routing table, right? So the thing to pay attention is that, look at these two routes. Once we do the summarization, these two routes will disappear and only a summary route will appear. And also, show IP OSPF match last. So here's, <clears throat> SPF algorithm last executed eight minutes ago. Eight minutes ago. So it's pretty stable, right? Uh, let's make it unstable, right? So here, well, this guy, router one, is, is where the SPF is running because he's learning all these routes. The instability of the network is happening in somewhere here. So this is, let's say, North American network, and this is California area 12 and this area is New York and they're all connected through the backbone. Now something is happening in the New York, which is area 34 and OSPF gets to see it, which is not good, right? Uh, so let's do this, let's flap this. So the way I flap it is just I delete or I set the dummy interface to disable. <clears throat> and before I commit, Let's check the SPF again. It's been stable nine minutes, three seconds. Okay, good. Here I go, I commit this and look at this, two seconds. So the SPF is now recalculating, right? So let's just go on here, nine seconds, 11 seconds, 13 seconds and so on and so forth. So he, this guy is getting SPF calculations and is worried, getting worried, flooded with the instability in this area. So how do we fix this? We fix it by route summarization. So now let's, um, you know, get this interface back up by deleting the disable and before we commit, Let's see how the SPF is looking here. Four seconds, right? That's not true, 14 seconds. Nine seconds, okay. 14 seconds, there you go. I don't know why I did that, four and nine. 20 seconds, 22 seconds, all right? Now it's gonna flop again, right? It's gonna recalc again. I'm gonna do a commit. There you go, Not one second, just one second ago. So it's the flap on this area here is affecting all the routers. I'm just showing you router one, but it's affecting pretty much all the routers across the network. <clears throat> how do we fix this in OSPF? This is how we're gonna fix it. What we are gonna do is we're gonna do this command protocol OSPF area 34, this area 34, and we're gonna summarize the two routes, 4111, 4222, T, 
to 4000 slash 8 and we'll put a cost there. Now let's look at the show IP route. We got these two routes again, 41 and 42, right? Now we're going to put the summarization in. <clears throat> Once we put the summarization in, let's look at the routing table. There you go. So the two routes, 41, 42, are now summarized to 4000 slash 8. So I still have reachability to 41 and 42 because I do have a route that's summarized. Now that I have summarized it, my routing table has gone smaller. My SPF is also going to go stable 15 seconds, 18 seconds. 21 seconds, 23 seconds, and so on and so forth. Now I'm going to flap it again. I'm going to set this to disable. Commit. Before I commit, let's just check the SPF here again. 10 seconds. 14 seconds. 17, 18, 19, 20. 24, 28, so it should go up from here onwards. It should not reset to one second. Commit, 40 seconds, 41 seconds, it's going up, it's stable. When I actually disable this guy, so he's not Flapping anymore, the SPF is stable, it's just going up, show IP route. Here it is. And <clears throat> I should not be able to reach 42 to 2 because I disabled it. There you go. <clears throat> so it, when the route is actually not reachable, but it's not affecting the routing table and the SPF calc. So the network here became stable because we used route summarization to make sure that our SPF is becoming stable, is stable across the network, and the route tables are not fluctuating and it's becoming smaller, but that's a secondary use case. More, more important is the stability of the network. So that's really what the use cases are for route summarization and OSPF does route summarization only on ABRs or ASBRs. <clears throat> and perhaps in, in another video, we can talk about ESBRs, but ASBRs are uh, networks that are bringing in external networks. Uh, in this case, all the networks were internal to OSPF. If you're bringing external routes, like you know, if it's a BGP speaker or if you're redistributing connected or from other routing protocol, this guy would become an ESBR or even this guy if it's got, you know, other networks or routing protocols coming in and you redistribute that into SPF, this would become an ESBR. But in, in summarization perspective, you can only summarize on ABRs or ESBRs. And that is the purpose of summarization is to stabilize your network and you reduce the routing tables size. Hope this helps.